was an apprentice. Sarah Shore, she was, uh, well, actually, I wasn't even an apprentice at that point. She was the apprentice, and I was the shop monkey boy. But I'd clean up, and I, I you know, I, I say monkey boy, and I used to get a row for saying that by then, because I ran that shop to the letter so they could tattoo, you know? So, I, you know, I've done everything. But one of the things, obviously, was breaking down and setting up for the, 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 the tattooers after and, and whatever else, cleaning up. And uh, Sarah hadn't been tattooing very long, maybe six months, and uh, she was doing orange in this big orange octopus thing on this guy's leg, or uh, I think it was his leg. Yeah. And she fucking shook the orange bottle, and the lid wasn't on, and the orange went all over the fucking white walls. Yeah. And uh, she just shouted, Stu, can you come here for a wee second? <laughs> and I'm like, aye, aye. And because uh, she was still learning, Paul was like, everything all right, Sarah? Because they were separated off the walls, you know? And she's like, oh, no, it's fine. I'm just going to ask you if you can get me something. And I'm like, ah, no problem. What are you after? <laughs> and she's like, just come here. And I'm like, all right, no problem. So I come through and she's like, fucking slick, slick. And I'm like, oh, my God. Before I could say anything to her, she took a wad of kitchen roll yeah. and went, like that. And I'm like, don't, don't, no. And she's like, oh. And I'm like, let it try and scrape it off. Oh. oh and I was, that was, that was like the end of the summer. Yeah. Have you seen the cafe in Airdrie? No. There's an Aldi's in Airdrie. Right. And behind. Oh, is it behind? Hi, it's, it's, it's called the Bacchi Aldi's. <laughs> it's like an Italian thing. So. Where are you going? Bacchi Aldi's. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Fucking genius. Welcome to check this out. Now, this one is going to be a soundtrack. I'm going to do a soundtrack to arguably the best movie of its genre that's ever been made. Um, it's one of my wife's favourite movies. It's one of our my favourite movies. Let me see if that a bit more. Let me see what we get if I put it up here. And just shoot it over my head. We'll try there, we'll try there. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to crack on with it. This is the soundtrack to the Lost Boys. Um, that's the front. As always, I'll give you a close up so you can see inside. Um, this, I didn't have this, I only got this maybe two or three months ago, maybe four, four months ago. I ordered that a long time ago, but it's the Blood Red edition. Um, and I don't know if, I think it was out on vinyl the first time, but this is a reissue, it was a worldwide reissue. Um, so you can get this, I don't think it's r super rare or anything, it might be, I don't think so. But um, it's just, that movie is, pardon me, it's a flawless movie. It's incredible. I don't know how many dogs across the world, between when did it come out, 86, 88, whatever, to now, have called their dog Nanook. But um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's incredible. When I was, one of my friends, my childhood friends, Lee, um, I'm, I've not seen him for a while actually, but we were working on a leg sleeve for him. Um, and it was 80s movies. And one of the ones we done was obviously The Lost Boys. And I've done, uh, I'll try and find a picture of it. I'm sure I've got a picture somewhere, but it's a noodle packet or a noodle, Chinese noodle thing with a, it's only noodles, Michael. And you know, it's it's a flawless movie and the soundtrack is absolutely outstanding now i think a lot of people know 
Um, oh, actually, I was going to say that the standout ones, but they're all for for me, and that's one of the reasons that I bought this. It's it's absolutely incredible. It's a flawless vinyl, a flawless album. Cry Little Sister, big time. That got um, by Gerard McCann. Now, I urge you to listen to that song if you haven't heard it for a while. Cry Little Sister. It's awesome. It's haunting and it's beautiful. Go on to Spotify or whatever and check out the rest of his music. It's fucking horrifying. It's so bad. It's absolute dog shit. Um, but that song's great. Um, Lost in the Shadows, Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me, Laying Down the Law by NXS and Jimmy Barnes, Good Times, People Are Strange. Now, that's my favourite version of it. The Doors done a good version, but the Echo and the Bunny Man version is better for me anyway. Cry Little Sister, Power Play, I Still Believe, Sex on the Phone. Greasy, greasy, sexy sax on my phone. Beauty has her way. And to the shock of Miss Louise. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's just a great album that goes with one of my all-time favourite movies. Definitely the best vampire movie ever. Ever. I'm just going to say it hands, in my opinion, hands down. Hands down. Um, it's great. So I suggest you check out Lost Boys soundtrack. Peace.